you know, the whole Busta Rhymes collaboration, like, he should have reached out to me, like, you know, you don't do no video with my daughter half naked. Today, we have a scandal that has taken the industry by storm. It involves none other than 50 Cent, Benzino, Busta Rhymes, and rising star, Coy LeRae. Let's dive deep into the shocking allegations and fiery exchanges that have unfolded between these rap heavyweights and how 50 Cent has sent a strong message to Benzino for coming at his close friend, Busta Rhymes. 50 Cent Checks, Benzino. In the world of rap, feuds and controversies are no strangers. But when Benzino, a former rapper and magazine owner, took to Instagram to make some shocking allegations against the legendary Busta Rhymes, the rap community was left stunned. Benzino claimed that Busta Rhymes had crossed the line in his music video for Luxury Life by featuring his daughter Coy LeRae in a highly inappropriate and half-naked manner. This accusation sent shockwaves through the industry as Coy LeRae is a rising star in her own right. While Busta Rhymes remained somewhat elusive, his friend and fellow rapper 50 Cent, known for his no-holds bar approach to online feuds couldn't resist getting involved. Recognizing the seriousness of the accusations against Busta, 50 Cent decided to step up and defend his buddy. Taking to his own Instagram page, 50 Cent shared a screenshot of Benzino's video and wasted no time in mocking him. In a scathing caption, 50 Cent called Benzino a sucker for using his daughter to attack Busta Rhymes. He didn't hold back, telling Benzino that he should be ashamed of himself and warning him that he now had 50 problems. To further drive his point home, 50 Cent added a laughing face and rat emoji insinuating that Benzino was a snitch and a joke. The support for Busta Rhymes was evident as 50 Cent even tagged him in the post, making it clear where his allegiance lay. With 50 Cent entering the fray, the feud took on a whole new dimension. The rap community watched as these two heavyweight personalities clashed, each defending their side. The tension escalated and fans eagerly awaited the next move in this high-stakes battle. Benzino, never one to back down from a fight, swiftly responded to 50 Cent's mockery with a fiery video of his own. In his passionate rebuttal, he didn't hold back, calling 50 Cent a clown and a bully. Benzino accused 50 Cent of using his platform to intimidate and belittle others, claiming that he was nothing more than a jealous hater. But Benzino didn't stop there. He went on to challenge 50 Cent to a physical altercation, daring him to step into the ring and settle their differences like men. Benzino's confidence was evident as he boasted about his wealth and the number of women he had, insinuating that he had surpassed 50 Cent in every aspect of life. Not stopping at personal attacks, Benzino also aimed at 50 Cent's reputation as a father and friend. He accused 50 Cent of being a bad father, referencing the strained relationship between 50 Cent and his son, Marquise. Benzino also claimed that 50 Cent had betrayed his former associates like Young Buck and Lloyd Banks, painting a picture of a man who couldn't be trusted. The rap community watched in awe as Benzino fearlessly stood up to 50 Cent, refusing to be intimidated by his online antics. The challenge he issued added fuel to the fire, leaving fans wondering if 50 Cent would accept and if this feud would escalate beyond social media. As tensions continued to rise, the focus shifted back to the original controversy surrounding Busta Rhymes and Coy LeRae. While Benzino and 50 Cent engaged in a war of words, Coy LeRae remained silent, leaving fans curious about her perspective on the situation. Benzino Blast Busta Rhymes Coy LeRae Video if you're wondering what happened between Benzino and Busta Rhymes, it all started with a music video that pushed the boundaries of controversy. In September 2023, Busta Rhymes released the visually stunning and provocative music video for his track Luxury Life, but little did he know that this video would ignite a fiery feud between him and Benzino. In the video, Busta Rhymes is seen flaunting his lavish lifestyle, surrounded by beautiful women and extravagant settings, but it was one particular scene that caught the attention of Benzino and sparked his outrage. Coy LeRae, Benzino's daughter, made a cameo appearance in the video, wearing a revealing outfit and engaging in seductive dance moves alongside Busta Rhymes. You know, the whole Busta Rhymes collaboration, like, he should have reached out to me, like, you know, you don't do no video with my daughter half naked and, you know, you a grown fucking man, he should have reached out to me and said something, but it is what it is, you know, she's grown, she can do what she wants but I wasn't with that. Benzino took to Instagram Live to express his displeasure, stating that Busta Rhymes should have reached out to him before featuring his daughter in such a provocative manner. He emphasized that as a grown man, Busta should have shown more respect and consideration. Let's take a look at what Benzino had to say. As a father, Benzino felt that his daughter's involvement in the video crossed the line, and he made it clear that he was not supportive of her being portrayed in such a sexualized manner. In the video, Benzino expressed his disappointment, saying, you don't do no video with my daughter half naked? You 
a grown ass fucking man. He believed that Busta Rhymes should have contacted him and discussed the concept of the video before proceeding with the production. Benzino made it clear that while Coy LeRae is an adult and can make her own choices, he still has his opinions as a father. Benzino also expressed his concern about the impact of the internet on family communication and bonds. He believes that the digital age has made it easier for artists to collaborate without considering the consequences it may have on personal relationships. This feud has ignited a heated debate about the boundaries of artistic expression and the role of parental guidance in the music industry. Now, Busta Rhymes was not about to let Benzino's comments go unanswered as he responded to him in an exclusive interview with Angela Yee on Power 105's Way Up. My thing, first and foremost, is Benzino has my number. He knows how to reach me. You ain't got to address me about nothing on no social media because you got my phone number. He made it clear that Benzino had his phone number and could have easily reached out to him personally instead of resorting to social media. There's been plenty of different issues that we've actually went through that led to actual violence with him and Dave Mays and situations that transpired that we was able to resolve civil and respectfully Busta emphasized that he and Benzino had previously resolved conflicts in a civil and respectful manner without involving social media or radio, even when those conflicts had led to actual violence. Throughout their history, there had been numerous instances where tensions ran high between Busta Rhymes and Benzino. However, they managed to find common ground and resolve their differences face to face. He questioned why Benzino chose to incriminate himself by discussing their issues on a public platform instead of having a direct conversation. But the point that I'm trying to make is, up until probably right now, this is not public information. I'm not saying this to promote the issue. I'm saying this to promote how the code of ethics was upheld and how we dealt with issues. We resolved it as men in face to face. Throughout the interview, Busta stressed the importance of upholding a code of ethics and dealing with conflicts face to face. He highlighted the need for mature and responsible communication rather than resorting to social media or music to address personal matters. We really gonna live by the proper code of ethics that we was raised on and why are you incriminating yourself talking about any conflict that you got with anybody on a social media platform or on the record anywhere? Talk to the person. Mm -hmm. That's the man thing and the grown man thing to do. Benzino criticizes Angie Martinez. The rap community itself became divided, with fans taking sides in the feud. Some rallied behind 50 Cent and Busta Rhymes, dismissing Benzino's accusations as lies and clout chasing. They argued that Busta Rhymes, a respected veteran in the industry, would never engage in such misconduct. These fans believed that 50 Cent was simply defending his friend and saw Benzino's claims as baseless attacks. On the other hand, some sided with Benzino and Coy LeRae, believing that Busta Rhymes had indeed crossed the line in the music video. They viewed 50 Cent's involvement as an attempt to deflect attention from the serious allegations and labeled him as a hater driven by jealousy. The differing opinions sparked heated debates within the rap community, with fans passionately defending their chosen side. Social media platforms became battlegrounds as supporters of each camp clashed, further fueling the intensity of the feud. However, Benzino also lashed out at Coy LeRae and Angie Martinez after Coy LeRae's appearance on the Angie Martinez IRL podcast. The interview seemed like a typical conversation, until Angie asked Coy about her father's reaction to her skyrocketing success. What followed was a bombshell revelation that left everyone stunned. Coy LeRae, with a hint of vulnerability in her voice, admitted that her relationship with her father had been rocky. She revealed that she felt her father couldn't handle her success and that it stemmed from a place of envy. How does your father deal with the success? Because that's got to be triggering for him in a lot of ways too. Triggering or maybe he's just proud or maybe like, I don't know. You know, at first it was rocky because I felt like he couldn't handle my success, I felt like it, it did come from an envious place, which is okay because he's human mm -hmm. and it's fine. These comments sent shockwaves through the hip hop community and left fans and critics alike wondering what had caused such a strained dynamic between father and daughter. But the drama didn't end there. Koi's father, Benzino, wasted no time in responding to his daughter's claims. Taking to Instagram, he unleashed a fiery tirade, calling her comments the most ridiculous thing he had ever heard. He vehemently denied being envious of his own flesh and blood, emphasizing that he 
he had raised, nurtured, provided for, influenced, and loved her dearly. The 58-year-old hip-hop legend expressed his frustration with LeRae pushing a false narrative about his fatherhood and questioned the impact of the industry and the internet on the minds of the younger generation. This has to be the most ridiculous I've heard in my entire life on this earth, Benzino exclaimed in his Instagram post. He further emphasized that in his 40 years in hip-hop, he had never witnessed an artist disrespect their parents the way LeRae did. In my 40 years in hip-hop, I've never ever seen an artist dog their parents out the was Koi does and it's embarrassing and sad. And one last thing, that Angie Martinez knows she doesn't like me so she's just being manipulative and messy. Benzino found her. Actions embarrassing and sad, believing that she was being influenced by external forces. The intensity of Benzino's response was palpable. It was clear that he was hurt and frustrated by the accusations made by his daughter. In his Instagram caption, he made it clear that he wouldn't allow anyone to slander his name or push a false narrative about his reputation and who he truly was. Benzino had endured years of blood, sweat, and tears in the hip-hop industry, surviving street wars and indictments, and he wasn't about to let anyone tarnish his legacy. Not only did Benzino take issue with his daughter's comments, but he also directed his anger towards Angie Martinez. Speculating that Martinez harbored personal dislike towards him, Benzino accused her of being manipulative and messy in her line of questioning. He believed that both Le Ray and Martinez wanted him to fail, but he made it clear that he had worked tirelessly on himself and wouldn't allow anyone to tarnish his reputation. The clash between Coy LeRae and Benzino is not a new occurrence. In fact, this father-daughter duo has a history of airing their issues in public. In a Twitter rant back in March 2021, Coy LeRae expressed her shame in being Benzino's daughter. It all started with a song, a song that would ignite a firestorm of controversy and expose the strained relationship between rising star Coy LeRae and her father Benzino. The song in question, No More Parties. But little did Coy LeRae know that her heartfelt lyrics would lead to a public feud that would rock the music industry. No More Parties was Coy LeRae's latest release, a deeply personal track that showcased her vulnerability and raw emotions. In the song, she poured her heart out, expressing her disappointment and hurt over her father's actions. The lyrics spoke volumes. My daddy let me down, but I promise you I won't let up. I want to say fuck that man, but that shit won't make me better. Just hours before the controversy erupted, Benzino, the former co-publisher of The Source, took to Instagram to address the song. In a now-deleted post, he expressed confusion over the backlash, stating that he had been supportive of Coy LeRae's career. He wrote, I've been posting and supporting, so IDK where all this BS is coming from. That line in her song is my name and rep is very important to me and nobody is going to tarnish that for storyline, you dig? I still love you very much, Coy LeRae, but this gotta stop. But Benzino's comments only fueled the fire. Coy LeRae, enraged by her father's response, took to Twitter to unleash her pent-up frustration and admit her deep embarrassment to be his daughter. In a since-deleted tweet, she wrote, And this is why I never wanted anybody to know. I'm embarrassed to be your daughter. I should have been a boy. You're right, because I would have knocked you the fuck out already. Numb to the pain. I'm hurting right now, but it's all good. I'ma be the one to put us right back in that mansion. Coy LeRae didn't hold back in her previous tweets either. She called Benzino a fucking liar and claimed that they had once lost everything, implying that she now felt the burden of rebuilding their finances. It was clear that this feud had deep roots and was about more than just a song. Back in January, she became entangled in a heated exchange between Benzino and rapper Royce Day 5'9". Royce insinuated that Coy LeRae had daddy issues, threatening to take her to a park and let her ride the swings if her father didn't stop his Twitter rants. Coy LeRae seemed to address Royce's comments in a recent tweet and delete, writing, Reasons why I think I need a to love me now because your bitch ass never did. However, she quickly realized the need to regain composure and issued a series of tweets apologizing for her outburst. Forgive me for stepping out of character, she wrote. I thought I prepared myself for this moment, but I'm still not ready. I'm still angry. Don't hold grudges. Let miserable people be miserable and just love from a distance. That was a test, and I feel like I failed by responding. Not everything needs a response. It's cool, I'm learning. Always room for growth. She admitted that she thought she had prepared herself for the moment, but her anger still lingered. She urged her followers not to hold grudges, showing a glimmer of hope for reconciliation between father and daughter. But the tension between Coy LeRae and Benzino didn't stop there. In a shocking turn of events, Benzino mocked his daughter on Instagram after her debut album, Trendsetter, sold just 11,000 units in its first week. He claimed to have been hacked, but the damage was already done. Coy LeRae replied to the tweet saying, God has been the best father to me. I can't complain about anything. My debut album is amazing and not one song can you say is bad. It's been five days. I understand Coy LeRae 
say is so viral and works good on blogs, headlines, but trust me, it's all part of the game. Just ride out and stay focused. Fast forward to this year, and Benzino found himself opening up about his rocky relationship with Coy Ray. In an emotional podcast appearance, he addressed the allegations of being a deadbeat dad. Tears streaming down his face, Benzino expressed his love for his daughter and his desire not to be known as a deadbeat dad. He revealed that the accusations hurt him deeply, as he had gone through a lot in his life and didn't want to be looked upon as someone who had failed as a father. Benzino and Eminence feud. Now, Benzino is a really controversial rapper in the rap industry, and he has had a series of beefs with his fellow rappers and celebrities in the industry, including 50 Cent and Busta Rhymes. However, one rapper recently reignited his 22-year feud with Benzino, and this time, he took it to a whole new level. In his latest diss track titled Rap Elvis, Eminem not only targets Benzino, but also drags his daughter Coy Ray into the mix. Before we dive into the latest chapter of the Eminem and Benzino feud, let's take a trip down memory lane and revisit the origins of this long-standing rivalry. It all began in 2002 when Eminem released his highly anticipated album, The Eminem Show. The album received critical acclaim, but Eminem felt that it deserved a perfect rating of five mics from The Source magazine, a prominent hip-hop publication. However, the magazine gave it a rating of four out of five mics, which didn't sit well with the rapper. Eminem believed that the rating was influenced by his race, and he blamed The Source and its co-founder, Benzino, for the perceived bias. He publicly expressed his frustration in interviews, claiming that he would never receive a fair rating because of his skin color, but the tension didn't stop there. When Eminem was promoting his film, Eight Mile, he refused to speak to Benzino, who had shown up backstage for an interview. Eminem made it clear that he wanted nothing to do with him. This incident only fueled the fire between the two. Benzino, not one to back down, used this opportunity to diss Eminem in a freestyle. He took shots at the rapper, questioning his talent and calling him overrated. Benzino also referenced Eminem's response to the source's rating, claiming that he was the one who birthed Eminem's career and that he owed his success to him. In an interview, Benzino explained that his motivation behind the diss track was his frustration with the double standards in hip-hop. He believed that certain media outlets, including The Source, elevated Eminem as the savior of hip-hop while ignoring the contributions of other artists. Benzino didn't hold back with his lyrics. In his song Pull Your Skirt Up, he compared Eminem to Vanilla Ice and criticized his skills as a rapper. He also aimed at Eminem's personal life, disrespecting his mother and making derogatory remarks about his daughter. Eminem, known for his quick wit and sharp tongue, couldn't resist responding to Benzino attacks. He released a series of diss tracks, including Invasion, The Sauce, and the infamous Nail in the Coffin. In these tracks, Eminem didn't hold back, mocking Benzino's rapping abilities, his age, his gangster persona, and even his questionable business practices. In an interview with Hot 97, Eminem expressed his disbelief that he was being targeted by someone he had never even met. He referred to Benzino as the worst rapper in the world and couldn't understand why he was going up against one of the best. Benzino, however, wasn't deterred by the backlash from Eminem's fans. He continued to release diss tracks, including Die Another Day and Better Lose Yourself, a parody of Eminem's hit song, Lose Yourself. In these tracks, Benzino took his attacks to a darker and more disturbing level, threatening the lives of Eminem and his daughter. The feud between Eminem and Benzino reached its peak in 2003, when Ja Rule, who was on good terms with the source, joined forces with Benzino against Eminem and his close friend, 50 Cent. Ja Rule released a song called Loose Change, in which he insulted Eminem's daughter and made derogatory remarks about his family. Eminem and his record label, Shady Records fired back with a barrage of diss tracks aimed at both Ja Rule and Benzino. Songs like Bumpheads, Do Re Mi, Hail Mary, and The Conspiracy Freestyle showcased Eminem's lyrical prowess and his ability to take down his opponents with his words. Benzino, not one to back down, released his own diss track called Fallen Down, in which he continued to attack both Eminem and 50 Cent. He also collaborated with Ja Rule on more diss tracks, including Untouchable, further escalating the feud. But the feud took a shocking turn when Benzino discovered an older record of Eminem's called Foolish Pride, in which the rapper used racial slurs. Benzino shared the song through the source's website and printed the lyrics in the magazine, hoping to tarnish Eminem's reputation. However, Eminem addressed the controversy head on, acknowledging his past mistakes and apologizing for his offensive lyrics. Surprisingly, his fans forgave him, and the hip hop community crowned him the winner of the feud. In 2005, Eminem brought an end to the feud with his collaboration with Obi Trice on the song I'm Gone. This marked the closure of a chapter filled with 
intense rivalries and personal attacks. Seven years after the feud ended, Benzino apologized to Eminem on Rap Fix Live, claiming that he made a mistake. This doused the burning flames of rivalry between the two rappers, or so we thought. However, in January 2024, Eminem took another scathing shot at Benzino in his latest diss track, Rap Elvis. Right from the opening lines, it was clear that Eminem was not holding back. He launched a scathing attack on Benzino, questioning his relevance in the rap industry and dismissing him as a has-been. What is the opposite of Benzino? A giraffe, go at his neck. How the fuck is that? How can I go at something he doesn't have? Arms so short he can't even touch his hands. When they're above his head doing jumping jacks. Eminem raps on the explicit song. He also takes a dig at Benzino's alleged financial troubles and implies that he has been involved in questionable activity. Jesus Christ, dog. When you said 210 never guessed you meant at the Red Roof Inns in a room with one single bed. Two men shady, man. You can't. Yes, you can. Well, I guess then I regret to inform you. Hate to spoil the day, but this doesn't bring me no joy to say guess that Coy LeRae feats in the toilet. Aye. But what has truly shocked fans and critics alike is Eminem's decision to involve Benzino's daughter, Coy LeRae, in the diss track. This move has sparked outrage and divided opinions within the hip-hop community. Not one to back down, Benzino swiftly responded with his diss track titled Vulturious. In Vulturious, Benzino wastes no time in throwing shots back at Eminem. He takes Jay-Z's Where I'm From and transforms it into a scathing response. Let's take a closer look at some of the standout lyrics that directly address Eminem's attacks. Candy ass Eminem, bitch ass feminine, mad he lack melanin, all valiumed up again, all shit, here we go. Benzino versus Jim Crow's Noah Custy, when I see one, how many times you overdose? Benzino doesn't hold back immediately, calling out Eminem's perceived lack of authenticity and mocking his alleged drug use. He even references the historical struggle against racial segregation, comparing their clash to a battle between Benzino and Jim Crow. You a punk? Plan my funeral? Please. You shoot who? Square ain't even go circle the block for proof. And the truth, my daughter had a life that I never had. I'm probably more Boston George than America's dad. But I provided. Food, clothes, gifts kept you excited. Now you let the industry really lynch. Keep us divided. Benzino continues to hit back, questioning Eminem's credibility and loyalty. He dismisses Eminem's claims of planning his funeral and highlights the lack of support shown by Eminem during the tragic death of Proof, a fellow rapper and friend. Benzino also emphasizes his role as a provider for his family and criticizes the industry for perpetuating division. Vulturious serves as Benzino's powerful response to Eminem's attacks. Do you think Benzino and Coy LeRae will be able to squash all of this bad blood and grudges between them amid all of these controversies going on around them?